welcome all today uh, the topic of discussion is question is ng style what is ng style actually ng style applies the style based on the value in the component okay uh, if you take the previous example we were showing username right uh, based on ng class we were applying class the angular applies the class if the condition satisfies if it is true it will apply the red color if it is not true it will not apply that that's what ng class was doing okay but if you take ng style applies the style based on the value in the component so uh, let me remove this ng class and instead of ng class let me add ng style so ng style also you have to provide value within brackets since you are providing a value to ng style it should be ng style should be within brackets and i am interested to add a background color okay so to this element i will add the background color but what color is based on the dynamic value of the component it will be binded actually based on the value in the component <coughs> the background color will be applied so let me uh, add a function called get style get color okay so uh, whenever uh, this element is loaded by angular this page is loaded by angular precisely the component this get color will be called so let me add get color a function get color to it so let me i am adding a function now it has to return what color the component wants okay i will say yellow so whenever this is loaded the background color will be yellow now okay let me see the page now so you are able to see right it is yellow because the component returned yellow but uh, if you return something else that will be the color of the background this is decided by the component okay this is about uh, ng style okay let me uh, be let us move on to the next directive so next directive is a component component uh, is a type of directive don't confuse yourself component is also a directive but it is associated with the template till now we saw about a structural and attribute directive but they didn't have a html you put the directive inside a element maybe a input element or a div okay so it actually changes the behavior of the element where it is been put but component by itself has a template where whenever you put this directive inside your html page it creates insert some html so this is a special type of directive which has a template so whatever in angular it is said to be a component based development so components are building blocks in your page you create a page by mixing many components together so it is a one page if you take in angular it has been a mix a merge of many components so it is called as basic basic building block okay well, let us create a component now whatever we saw now the example we saw now was also on a root component provided by angular cli let us create a component you create a component by typing ng generate component i will say it as maybe highlight yeah highlight component so this is the name of the component i am giving and i am creating a component through angular cli let us see uh, how it creates actually it is creating now once it is created so now it is created so in our uh, 
IDE, you can see a highlight component. The highlight component, if you see, go to the TS, highlight TS, not uh, this one. This is the default component created by Angular CLI. So you will see a HTML associated with this component. And you will also see a style associated with this component. You will also have a selector. So, where uh, in whichever component you put, whichever uh, component you put this selector, you will be able to, Angular actually creates an instance of that and puts it inside the selector. So, you will see the component there. Okay. So, let me go to the HTML created by the Angular CLI. So this is the HTML. So you will have a simple highlight component words. A simple thing uh, created by Angular. So let me put this component, this selector inside the root component so that you will be able to see this component. And I will put this component inside. Now uh, you should be able to see this component. What is that component? It is, uh, it will just display the it doesn't have logic any logic now it will just display this html highlight component works let us see in our browser <coughs> so you are able to see the component highlight component words so this is our third type of component so whatever directive you are creating you should put the directive into our root module we created uh, one component that is being put inside our root model okay so if you are creating any custom directive you should be able to you should be putting it inside the ng model we just created one custom component that alone we have put it inside uh, actually the angular cli put it put it inside for us or else if you are uh, developing any custom directive till now we developed the uh, angular directive that's why we didn't put it inside declarations else if you are going to create any custom directive you should be putting it inside the declarations okay thank you